You're exposing me. You have just exposed me. Mmm, you guys know me too much. I'm not a monster, but you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Shh, don't, don't stop exposing me, okay? Okay. <laughs> Today is a, uh, I don't really know how to explain this video. I guess I'm gonna be like uh, reacting to you guys' assumptions about me and like, I'm really scared. I'm like really, really scared. But before we get onto the video, I just wanted to thank you all for submitting your responses. And I also really hope if you could maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I feel like my writing channel and our writing community, all my writerly besties, we're just clicking like everyone is having such a good time and it's just so fun on this channel so if you could definitely subscribe and also share with some of your writer friends um so yeah thank you without further ado let's go ahead and get into these writerly assumptions so if you guys want to like be featured in future videos or kind of just be updated in like my uploading schedule sort of ideas that i want to maybe do with you guys um definitely just keep updated on the community tab on my um youtube channel page because that's where i like write everything so so definitely make sure that you're on there um but yeah let's go ahead and go down to my post and see what you guys wrote. Okay, so the first assumption is you have to add romance in all your stories. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know. I feel like I don't, mm, I definitely love romance. I, I'm trying to think about all my projects and if I have like anything that has nothing to do with romance. I think I might have like, no, <laughs> I actually don't think I do. I feel like romance is just so, so fun to write and I'm a very like, I, I don't like like romance like in real life because you know, all writers and readers have such high expectations, but like when it comes to fictional characters, mm, it's chef kiss. The next assumption is you're more of a pantser than a plotter. If you are, don't worry, so am I. Loki, yeah. I definitely am a pantser, but however, I feel like I've kind of been a little bit better in my planning. I think I'm almost maybe a plant star. So if there is like a, uh, so if there was like a line, um, and this was like pant star, this was plotter. I think I'm definitely in the half of being a pantser, but I, I plot a little bit, guys. I'm not that helpless, um, because yeah, being a pantser is such a struggle. So that's so good, Sasha, that I can um relate to you on this because, oh, it's just so annoying being a pantser. I like wish I could plot crazily like all those crazy plotters out there but uh yeah but yeah so far you guys are right mm, you guys know me too much so the next assumption is that your ideas are always so cool okay this is my sister so thank you jess she also says that and you're super excited with descriptive writing because you read so many good books yeah i love writing description and using metaphors in my description is something like i can't not do it's crazy so yeah, I mean, that's a compliment, more of like an assumption. So thank you. Thank you. Next assumption is, um, I think it's hard for you to plot out plot twists. And I think it would be a challenge for you to write a thriller or murder mystery. Since I am a pantser, it's really hard like working backwards for me because I just want to get straight into the story and that's when I burn out like halfway through. And it's it's so hard because, yeah, it takes a long time to come up with um, plot twists, but I don't think I'm actually bad at it. It is kind of hard for me to, but I think I'm getting better at it definitely. And if I just let like stories ruminate in my mind and kind of tell myself the story without actually writing it on paper, I can come up with really cool plot twists. And yeah, I have so many plot twists in my current um, project, which are actually really, really good. And I was like really surprised that I was able to come up with them. And when I tell other people, they're like, oh, no. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's right. But plot twists, I think I'm okay with, so yeah. Next so up, we have like literally five assumptions. Thank you so, so much. Um, but let's go ahead and see what they are. So one, sometimes you jump into a book without the whole thing plotted. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Two, I'm a pantser. Yes. Three, you love romance fantasy and writes that. Yeah, that's all I write. That's all I read. Romance fantasy. Mm, a little bit of contemporary romance actually, but it has to like have some sort of element so yeah, a fantasy romance. Number four, if there is a book that doesn't have romance, you secretly ship the characters. Do I? Maybe. I think like if there's no like romantic or like at least no chemistry, I wouldn't. But yeah, if there isn't no like, you know, main character romance, definitely. I love shipping. I love shipping. Shipping's like the best thing that a writer, that a reader, that a watcher, that anyone who consumes media can do. 
it's crazy. Next assumption is that no plot planning, but a heck ton of world and character building. Yeah, Loki, yeah, that's right. You don't even have to, I don't have to lie about that. And number two, either writing five books at a time or none at all. You're exposing me. You have just exposed me. Yes, I'm either writing so many books at once or like I'm in such a big writing slump that it's crazy. And I like, oh, yeah. Seriously, I'm technically writing like literally five books, like plotting, thinking about. But technically I only have like two priority projects which I'm like actively writing like every single day. But that has kind of like increased to three because I just literally plotted a whole book in a day and I've never done that before. I'm not sure if you guys are interested in me kind of showing how I plotted a whole freaking book in one day but I did it and it was so detailed. I've never plotted a book like that ever or like plotted a book in general. So yeah. Definitely, I'm either like writing five books or not at all. And the third one is that all of my books have romance. Dude, why y'all have to be like romance? She's a romantic, oh. but you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So like my current project, Project BB, actually, like it's not really a big part of the um, book, but it definitely can become it if I wanted to. It kind of ends like a sad, it's a sad kind of ending, so. I don't really want to like, you know, uh, spoil it or anything, but the romance there is like definitely there, but it's not like, oh my gosh, that's like the whole plot. Because with fantasy romances, fantasy usually takes most precedent. And if the romance isn't that relevant, like if, if it isn't so integral to the plot, that means it's not extremely, you know, talked about or at least like explored. So that's why I'm focusing definitely on plot more than romance, but in general. Yes, a lot of my books have romance. I'm a hopeless romantic. I, I can't say anything else. Next assumption is I feel like you write adorable characters and that readers get attached to you and then kill them brutally in the end. I'm not a monster. No. No, I think what's really weird is I've been listening to a few like writing podcasts and one was about um, being excited about your characters and I like love my characters but they said like you should write characters that you love to read about and like you relate to and stuff. But I write the opposite characters and that's why like my recent project, project I first met you in a graveyard, one of the characters, Amen, he's such a soft, he's just such a soft boy and such a soft soul and like that is the exact character that I adore and that I adore like throughout all genres and like media and like books and everything like that so he's like a character i can really relate to and a character that i really like would love to learn about and read and expand and like learn and stuff like that but um yeah i feel like so many of my characters like yeah they have parts of me in them but they're so opposite to who i am i think internally they are like me because i act so different on the outside with other people but i know myself and like i kind of project that onto my characters so when you read my characters you know that's how i really am like but in terms of like how i act differently it's kind of a whole thing but it's a really interesting assumption i definitely don't like to kill off characters too much i mean wait wait <laughs> i'm thinking of project cz and um there is a character who uh dies that i won't say but he is an angel so i don't know if you're right or wrong you're probably right you're probably right next assumption is you can't write book that isn't fantasy romance oh my gosh guys like literally everyone has assumed that i can't write a book without fantasy or romance no but seriously you're true you that's true that's true that's true that's Shh, don't don't stop exposing me okay okay there seems to be another one which is you like the victorian era and add a lot of royalty stuff mm -hmm. that's a very like niche assumption and it's true dude you guys know me a lot a lot more than i thought and and the last assumption was you dislike enemies to lovers no wait how do you know this how do you know this about me yeah literally because i don't like enemies to lovers like i think it's just so overrated like have you guys watched the season two of bridgerton i like liked it but then i hated it i think if it's overused and i get bored like if they don't become lovers and it's just really frustrating then i get annoyed but i low-key like it when i don't know it's like very very niche the point where like for my current project project bb where it technically is enemies to lovers because there's robin who is like technically like a peasant and then there's 
Caro, who's like a prince. Um, and it's only Robin who hates him, but Caro doesn't care. Do you know what I mean? Like, there has to be only like one that hates. Like, enemies to lovers, like, yeah, it could be like a little bit of, a little bit of banter, a little bit of like drama, but like, in the end, they slowly become like friends. Instead of just like straight to enemies to lovers, it's more like enemies, friends, and accepting of one another than lovers. But you definitely like, you know me so well. We're probably besties, so, uh, good job, I guess. Thank you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely um, subscribe and comment down below what you thought. You guys really did expose me. Um, <laughs> but I think overall, a lot of you guys were like right with your assumptions. Um, it's just how it is. You guys know me too well. But thank you so much for all of you who are able to actually comment um, and kind of be featured in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I hope you guys keep writing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.